It was hunted to extinction by 1883, but we've already been able to bring a version of it back using backbreeding. All right, imagine you're a mad scientist and you want to bring back an extinct animal. Here's the recipe. Step one, choose your animal, like a mammoth. Now, from here, you need to choose one of three paths. And for each, you'll need different ingredients. You could try to take a close living relative of the animal that you chose and breed a bunch of them together until you get an animal with traits that roughly match the one that you wanted. This is the same basic process that made my dog Thor out of a wolf. But instead of trying to make something new and adorable, you're trying to make something old. It's called backbreeding, and it can work. Like with this guy, it's called a quagga. I actually have a little uh, a toy quagga right here. It's a subspecies of zebra native to South Africa. They have stripes on the head and neck, and the stripes fade away along the body. It was hunted to extinction by 1883, but we've already been able to bring a version of it back using backbreeding. This is a really exciting approach, and it can work for both animals and plants but it is incredibly slow. It takes many generations of zebra to get there. And it's a guessing game. You don't know which genes will appear when and which will go away. In reality, it's a cool method that's been done, but probably pretty limited. Okay. 